Hi, here is AE Juice with you, and today we are going to learn how to use the VHS package in Premiere Pro. Let's get started! This package has everything you need to create a realistic VHS effect in your video. Camera interface, distortions, special effects, tape glitches, text titles, color presets and camera zoom presets. The functionality of all elements is so extensive that you can create a unique style for your video. There won't be any like it. The quickest and easiest way to do it is to select the All Presets composition. I'll import this preset and we'll see how it works. I'll start by creating a nested sequence from this video. Just right click and select Nest. Give it a name and click OK. Using this sequence instead of the video file, we will get additional control and flexibility in working with original footages. Drag the new nested sequence from the project panel onto the image placeholder on the Essential Graphics panel. All the elements from the VHS package can be found here, and you can easily switch presets from different categories as well as customize them. It is all available on one settings panel. To show how to do it, I turned off all the presets and now we'll add one at a time. Most of the pack is color profiles. They allow you to achieve a realistic VHS effect through color correction of the image. With the first setting of VHS look, you can choose which color preset to use. Values from 0 to 40 are available, where 0 means that color correction is turned off. This also applies to the other selections below. To make it easier to pick a preset, you can see the plugin and specify a value according to the order number of the preset in the category. For example, I want to select this preset. So I write the number 5 and this color profile will be applied automatically. Simple and easy. To adjust a color preset, I scroll down the list of settings. Here you can adjust the brightness of the video with the help of two checkboxes. Lights fix and shadow fix. I will click them and adjust the intensity. You can also adjust the color preset intensity and the aspect ratio. The TV lines setting allows you to adjust the degree of screen tearing. This creates a cool additional effect. Now let's talk about distortions. This effect allows you to spoil your image as it were by adding some noise, glitches and other distortions. Simply select the appropriate preset in the plugin and enter the order number of an effect. Let's look at the detailed settings of the preset. I'll scroll down the list and here are all the settings for distortion. Here you can control intensity, adjust distortion radius, also experiment with relief and much more. This is one of the main benefits of this pack. All of these distortions can be adjusted so uniquely that they will never be repeated among themselves. It is only possible with this VHS package. I will add another effect from the tape glitches category. There are 25 presets to choose from. Next, I'll add a camera interface. This will help you achieve more authenticity when creating your own VHS style. You can adjust color below, but I'll leave it at the default. Text titles. These presets replicate accompanying information from old VHS tapes. You can also control the color of these subtitles here. White always goes well with other elements, so I'll leave these at the default. However, you can always experiment and pick a unique color palette for your video. Let's check out the special effects category. Many of these effects can be flexibly adjusted. Let's use one of them, such as chromatic aberration. Let's select individual settings, adjust colors, intensity and offset. You can play around with any settings to your liking. And finally, to complete the creation of a unique VHS effect, add a camera zoom preset. I'll choose Smooth and Adjust Settings. Here you can adjust the zoom point, and after adjusting it, just turn it off. And with the help of this checkbox, I will add the camera shake effect. And so we have achieved a truly authentic VHS effect in our video. And about the sequence I created at the beginning, I can open it and make any changes, cut or add video, text, graphics and so on. And all the changes will be automatically applied to the preset.
You can also use each preset individually. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline and work exactly the same way I showed you earlier. Customize, experiment and create your own unique style with the VHS pack. Only on AEJuice.com